Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Fees Papercraft. Today I am going to case the catalogue. I'm going to do a stamp set, a stamp, a card that is in the catalogue. And I'm going to do this card here using the Builder Bike, well, the Bike Ride stamp set and the Builder Bike um, dies. Uh, it's going to be, I'm changing it slightly because I don't have everything that they have there. Um, so, um, I wonder if I can find one. They've also, right, you see here, they've got, can you see that, let me, and over here. So this little piggy set here, you've got a you can make it section. And what it does, um, it gives you an item number to get everything you need to make the cards. So you've got an item number for a project, basically. So that's really nice. They've got a couple of those through the catalogue. They've got what, at least five or six of them. So keep an eye out for the you can make it sections and you'll find there's an item number and you can get everything that's listed under it for a, price, for a set price. Okay, but that's the card I'm doing now. So let me keep that to one side so I can remember what I am doing. Try and sort my catalogue out. Uh, it's never going to work, is it? Right, let's keep that over there then. Right, so I've got my card blank. Like I said, I've changed the colour slightly, so instead of doing the blue, I'm going to do it in pink. This is powder pink from the 2017-19 ink colours. And I've also just toned it with, this is the, the Blushing Bride from the Subtles in Colour Family, and then Lovely Lipstick, which is a 2018-20 um, colours. Right, so first of all we're going to stamp my bike. Now I have to admit that my stamp set is very dirty so I'll get my chamois out first of all and you can see I've done, I keep in here um, a mask so that I can do the various um, is that going to come up? That's clean, right. It's just mucky so you can't actually see through it. But hey ho. So we're going to stamp this in powder pink. Let me get my powder pink. Do it over here. There we go, that's that bit. And then we're going to stamp the accents for it in basic grey. Now then what I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use my Stamparatus. It comes with a foam mat so that you can um, uh, use it for photopolymer stamps. So let's put that on there first of all. And this will help because um, uh, the magnets out. Obviously be careful, they are extremely strong magnets, keep them away from anything metal. Because my stamp sets are quite mucky, shall we say, this will help me a little bit to line them up better. One hopes. Still can't see anything, mind you. It does help if you don't have any dirt on the back of the stamps, doesn't it? Excuse the top of my head. I hope it's not too unattractive. I need to get my roots done soon. Uh, I thought this would help. I'm not too sure if it will. Oh well, let's hope. And it's because my stamps are really mucky. Because I've used them lots, because I love this stamp set actually. Well, I do love it. I have a love-hate relationship with it really, to be fair. I do like it. However, oh, where's that bit? Oh, I can't see it now. Um, I get a bit frustrated with all the work that you need to do to actually um, do it sometimes. I'm a bit of a lazy crafter. Stand that down, didn't I? Right, and then we we'll use uh, basic grey to fill in those bits. But what I do love with this stamp set, and it does allow you to do it quite happily, is um, decoupage. So um, I have to see if on my blog I'll put out one of the old cards I did last year. Right, let's hope we've got them all in the right place. No, well, never mind. Who needs it all in the right place? It's artistic. Artistic license means it doesn't matter if you miss them. But that's my fault for having it really dirty stamps. <laughs> uh, 
shammy clean them. Unfortunately, the shammy will clean, but it won't necessarily take any, it won't stop them being stained. Let's hope we have better luck doing the wheels. The wheels aren't too bad because we're going to cut them out. Right. And let's just clean my bike while I remember. As you can tell, I really do like this shiny. I do think it's good value for money and does a very good job. Right, so that's that bit. So now I need to do my wheels. And the wheels, we're going to have grey on the outside and pink on the inside. So this is okay. This bit is okay. This bit we just stamp. It's getting the inner wheel lined up. Stamping apparatus, stamp, stamp apparatus is going to change how you work, really. It does mean that you can make sure that you've got the depth of colour that you want. Squeaky clean! Right. See, this is the bit I wasn't looking forward to. Again, because my stamp sets are so dirty, I can't see through them. Oh well. Let's hope. If I thought about it better, what I could have done, I guess, was to um, use... You see, these, this um, plate can lift out, so you can move it down and down. I guess I could have lined these stamps up to go down, down, and that one to go, uh, uh, and I could have lined it up that way. I'll have to see if that will work or whether that's just me dreaming. So it would make it easy when you can't see. Oh, I've moved something. <gasps> uh oh. What's got moved? Yeah, I've definitely moved something, haven't I? Oh dear. I'm going to go like that. Oh, that's not too bad, is it? I might just hang that up again. Just give it a little bit extra strength. Right, there you go, that's better. See, if I had a brain cell, I could be quite lethal. But I don't see it safe. Getting ink all over me now. And I think we'll do that again. There we go. Right. So the next thing we need to do is clean all this up. We're going to do the basket and the apples. So let's do the basket first of all. Uh, that's the outline one. I think that's the outline one. Yes. So let's pick that up. And then doing the outline in basic grey. Perfect Mondo. That's what we like. 
Yeah, so what I do to decoupage it, just to go back to the early conversation, I do this for my husband as well, is I might cut out two or three of the circles and layer them up just to want the handlebars, maybe put one behind the handlebar, the, um, it's not the handlebars, the body of the bike, and one um, or two in front. And it just gives it a really nice um, depth of field and, and look to it. Close that. Tidy work surface, ladies and gentlemen. Always keep your surface your working area tidy. Then you won't make too many boo boos. I'll make some. I always make some. It wouldn't be fun if we didn't have boo boos to cover up, would it now? So this is soft suede that I'm using. There you go, just call me genius. I hope you can see that. Have you got that in the right? Can you see what you can see what I'm doing, can't you? Oh, I was just about to shammy my um ink pad then. That wouldn't be good, would it? Don't shammy your ink pad. It is not a good idea. I'm going to do a, a session on the stamp apparatus. It's something that's in the back of my mind to do. I've just not had um, the time to do it really. So let's get our apples in there. There you go, apples in the basket. Right, just wait there a second. I need my pens for this. Sorry, I was wondering how they did it. I think they did it like this. This is how I would do it. But you can't really take me for... Oh no, this is the outline, isn't it? So no, this is the outline. This would be in grey. It's when I do the inner bits. Inny. So let's do that first of all. There's our apples, in they go. Right, now the inny bits. First of all, let's line them up. You'll see that the leaves are separate. So that's all right. Well, what we're gonna do So we're going to have one green apple. This is call me clover. And the rest will be red apples. What's your favourite apple, red or green? My girls like red actually. I've got three children, three um, munchkins. And they prefer red apples. I have to say I like green. Granny Smith, I know it's a bit of a common one, but... I do like a Granny Smith. Now then, still need a half. Then <gasps> down we go. I think I missed one. But you know what? That's why we like the stem apparatus, is that we can go back in. I did. I missed a little bit. Oh. There we go. There we go. Got them all now. That's good. That's good to know. I haven't done that with the stamp practice before, doing the um the pen and huff technique. I didn't know whether you could do that. But there we go, we can. And then we find the leaves. It's gonna be an itty bitty stamp. I think those are the leaves, are they? Okay, and what colour should we do the leaves, I think? Hmm. I think I might use my pens again and use Tranquil Tide. Because I didn't bring the ink pad down. There we go. Oh well, I've got ink where I shouldn't have got it, but never mind. Never mind, that's life. Right. 
I have probably done something really stupid. I've stamped those apples in the basket and I probably didn't need to because we're going to die cut it all out. Hey ho. That's life. We can't all be geniuses now, can we? We try. So let's get all this die cut out. My trusty big shot. Oh, good. That's one. Probably my apples. We'll see what happens. Ugh. Don't you hate it when that happens? It's all ready to go and it moves. Well, this is going to be a long video, isn't it? be very long if this doesn't work very well. Hard from start to finish like this um, and I'm going to try and die cut a lot of things out but I was running out of time today so I did I just decided I would go for it I haven't even done a, a mop which is probably a very bad idea when I'm demoing a stack set and card isn't it you probably want to see that I've done my research and I've planned it all out properly you know the worst thing is trying to get these dies back in isn't it so I'm just going to die cut this little butterfly I got a magic that might not might not see. There we go, that's the little butterfly. I think I'll leave it at that. Actually. I changed my mind. I'm going to do a couple of these. I'll cut a couple of these out and then I can see how many I want. It's not like you're wasting a huge amount of card if you don't use one, isn't it? And that was especially done for those who've never seen a Big Shot before. Big Shot is a die, big shot is a die cutting and embossing machine. Right, my phone is still going. I'm waiting for my phone to cut up. And say, no, the video's too long. Let's hope not. Those are those bits. Let's move that over there. Where's that? Oh no, I need this. Right, I have a piece of vellum, which I'm just going to quickly emboss with the falling snow um, embossing folder. This is must be one of my favourite embossing folders, this one. 
it's great. It just really has a really nice bit of. Oh, don't need, maybe I don't need the second plate. That's just a really nice bit of texture, and obviously it works great for Christmas. No, I think I needed that plate. That's only far too loose. Take that out. Come on, Fiona. That's it. That's done now. I can feel that's done. There we go. So we've got all the bits. So what I'll do, I'm going to build this up first of all. So a little bit of glue. On my bike. Put that in the middle. Set that there. Uh, no, let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to put a foam pad on that. Yes, I know it'll slide around because I put glue on there first of all, but it will stick eventually. Put that there. Some glue on the apples, so they will go under there like that. So they're in the basket, because that's what you want, you want apples in the basket. And then we'll use the foam pads for the wheels. And this gives it a little bit of extra dimension. Okay, right. And then this also means I've got somewhere to glue my vellum down onto my cardstock. Because that's also a little bit tricky with vellum. So we'll leave that to dry. And we'll sort out the greeting. Right. First of all, I need my punch. This is a triple banner punch. I've done a two inch piece of card. Slide that in, and that will tell me where I'm going to stamp my greeting. So I'm going to use the Picture Perfect stamp set um, because I love this stamp set. And I'm going to have a birthday card rather than um, um, this one said a Picture Perfect friend. Well, this is going to be a birthday card instead. So that goes down there. Okay, so we need to lop a little bit of that off. That's fine. I'll tell you what. There we go. So let's glue that down. just need to stick on our butterfly. Let's poke all the bits out. I could use the fine tip glue for this but Tombow will um, dry clear. And as long as you don't make too much mess of it really, it should be fine. Go and then 
just want these on the handlebars like that okay so that's the finished card that's my my version of casing the card i do have some ribbon which i probably i don't think i've got enough to make a bow i'm rubbish at making bows so you could probably do bows better than me actually let me use this two little bunny ears tied in the middle I don't like that either. I think I'm going to put gems on. I think that's what I'll do. But that's the card. I hope you like that. That's Case in the Catalogue. So don't forget, your catalogue is an amazing um, resource. Obviously, it's got all the gorgeous things you want to buy in it, but it also gives you inspiration about how you can use it and what you can use it with. And not just where that stamp set is. Have a look throughout the catalogue, um, and it will show you various using kiss stamp sets in various places with various different other embellishments and uh, stamp sets thank you very much my name is Fiona Stanton from Feast Papercraft bye bye